Today I'm going to work in my 2017 composite art journal. Today I put up a video where I showed how to use craft paint in the fine line paint applicator to create this embossed handwriting. Wasn't that fun? Now I'm not going to do that technique on my page today. I'm going to use the painty papers and my own imagination <laughs> and I'm going to build a page to illustrate this nursery rhyme. But first what I want to do is you see I have two sheets of paper out here. What I want to do is divide this paper in half maybe just the smidgen over half so that I can fold it so I'll have a flip page and I'm going to write the nursery rhyme on this side of the page and I'm going to do that first maybe I'll put some background paint on there first and then I'll write over it not paint but a uh, ink tents would be good if I need to stop and explain what I'm doing somewhere in the middle I'll stop the video I've been doing that recently but when I'm finished I'll come back and chat about it to read this while I was printing it. The other thought that I had on this is I like it like this. I like the idea of the page here and and the clouds but when you close it like this you'll have the design here but you also have as the page is closed I'm thinking that I want to carry some of that over. But then, as I think about it more, no, I think I just like it like that because I think that will tell the story of what's happening over here. And then when you open it up, you get the total story. So that's where I'm going with this. My next step will be to illustrate this.
me sketch out my basic composition here. I sketched it out in pencil so I could just put on paper what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. But remember, these are just shapes. This is the shapes of what the final piece is going to be like, but you will see very little of this, these actual marks on the final piece, because I'm going to be using the painty papers to build this page. So what I'm going to do is, as I approach this, I'm kind of making it up as I go, how I'm going to put it all together. And I decided that in order for me to get these shapes that I want, I'm going to have to cut them out of here. So I'm not going to paint this piece. What I'm going to do is use, huh, use the cover of this. I might as well. It's the paper pad. It's the same size. In fact, it's probably larger. I'll tear it off here. This is good. I'll just tear this off. And like this, and then I can attach this on here, like this. I like that. Remember this piece? Yes. This is going to be the background. So I'll already have the dark sky, and I'll be building my shapes and my colored papers on this with all these painty papers. you get the idea of what I'm doing here so I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the rest of my pieces and attach them to the little cut out patterns here I have glued down all my pieces I did that offline because there's a lot of little pieces and I quite frankly I just get my head in the way <laughs> so I think you understand the concept here and what I'm doing. I also went in with my marker and did the face on the moon and the face on the old lady. Little detail on the dogs and the house. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my fine line applicator and I'm going to pull this whole piece together and by just bordering it. And I'm going to outline some of the pieces here to make them pop off of the page. is all finished. I'm really happy with it. This was another inspiration piece and I took my inspiration from a nursery rhyme that I found in the Bartlett's Book of Quotations. And I'm going to read the rhyme really quick. It says, There was an old woman tossed in a blanket seventeen times as high as the moon. But where she was going no mortal could tell for under her arm she carried a broom. Old woman, old woman, old woman, said I, whither, a ah, whither, a ah, whither so high? To sweep the cobwebs from the sky, and I'll be with you by and by. 
and then the title of it was There Was an Old Woman. I had a lot of fun doing this. For the background of this page, you can see I used that craft paper, that paper bag that I wrote this nursery rhyme with on the back when I was illustrating how to use my fine line paint applicator to do embossed writing. And I had that left over, and so I said, well, I'm going to put it on the back of this page. And then I used the painty papers that I got from Cindy Sign Sutter in the round robin box. I had to add a few of my own because I'm using up all the papers. But look, here's the cobwebs. I had just a piece of, I don't know what it was. It was some sort of a thread or a yarn, and I unraveled it. And it looks just like cobwebs. I have this number one seven in the background because it's 17 times as high as the moon. And here's the old woman. She's wrapped in a blanket, and she's got a broom under her arm, and she's got a feather duster here. She's sweeping the cobwebs from the sky. Here's the moon down here. And then, in my mind, there's a young girl and her dog asking the old woman, what's she doing up there? <laughs> Why are you 17 times as high as the moon? And of course, you've got a little house and the trees. And this page really came together for me. I was really inspired doing it. Again, this is a whimsical page. I seem to be having a lot of fun with whimsy lately. I gotten inspired by nursery rhymes and Easter rabbits and <laughs> and Easter egg hunts. What can I say? Whimsical really is not my thing, but it seems to have inspired me the last few weeks. So I hope that you have really enjoyed watching this process and seeing the final result. I'm very happy with it. I think it will make a nice page in my 2017 composite art journal. I will see you on the next page.